Awesome. Well, welcome everyone. I'm so excited to bring you the magic of Christine Patton. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, thank so Christine you. has been juicing for me for a few years now. Yeah. She's amazing. She has so much knowledge. So I, she's really busy right now, but I asked her if there's any way she can give our community some tips on staying healthy. I know I've been in the snack closet way too many times than I should be and not eating the best, making the best choices. Um, not beating myself up over it, but also knowing that my body just feels better when, when I'm putting good things in it. And I was just literally just talking to Jenny, um, who did one of your cleanses last week. And she said, I just felt so much better right after. So we're excited to have you share all your good tips. Thank you so much, Lisa. I, uh, I appreciate it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen uh, out there. My name is Christine, the Juice Girl, and it is a perfect time to do a one-day cleanse. And I'll tell you why. Because there's so much going on, and whether we're snacking or we're stressed or you are dealing with the children that now you're teachers, and I don't know how a lot of the moms do it, that we're just overly worked, our adrenals are are a little crazy. So a one day cleanse is easy breezy. I do this for a living. I've done it for a long time. So if you get a cleanse from me, you're going to get them in, in mason jars. So you're going to have two mason jars of juice and that's about 64 ounces. And what you do is you pour yourself a cup of juice every two to three hours and you make yourself a warm veggie uh, soup. And it, you know, it does really, really work, but this is a cleanse for people that are at home that maybe don't have access to me, don't wanna jump into a cleanse because they've never done it. This is a great thing to do prior to a cleanse, coming off of a cleanse, and this is something that anybody can do at their home. So when you first start a cleanse, the best thing to do is warm water with lemon. So I definitely do it, um, not every day, but now I'm starting to do the warm vitamin C drink, which I'll show you, but if I do warm water with lemon, I add magnesium to it. So if we're workout people, we're doing yoga, it's going to help uh, not only relax the muscles, it helps to give you relaxation. Um, it also, for some reason, whenever I take it, it seems like I, I don't want to say go to the bathroom more, but I don't hold on to things. So the magnesium is, is really good for our body. But what I want everyone to do, I'm not bossy, but I am bossy with this is to do the warm vitamin C drink. It is just like what I just told you to do with the warm vitamin C, but we're going to add other things to it. So this is my favorite thing. I don't know if you can see it. I can probably adjust it a bit so you can see it. I'm just gonna bring it over. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that is the warm vitamin C drink. And what's in this? I put it in a pot and I get two lemons, two oranges. I also put uh, fresh rosemary. So if you have uh, rosemary in your garden or if you can get rosemary, I'd add rosemary to it. And then I add spices to it. So for instance, if you don't have ginger that you can just grate, I, I mean, I do that because I, I love it. But to make it easy and simple for your first one, um, you can use it a grater or you can just use uh, ginger as like an organic ginger spice, a little bit of cinnamon, and you can also use cloves and nutmeg. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you sip on that every two to three hours, drink the whole pot, you're gonna fill this pot up to the top with distilled water. And then if you're on the go, you're gonna put it into a thermos and you're gonna sip on it. It was my saving grace when I was juicing for the front lines because I was in a very cold uh, environment and I didn't know if my immune system was going to stay okay with juicing more than I've ever juiced, dealing with a pandemic, and my body, you know, maybe being not as at my best level. And that, that I swear by, it's like pennies to a dollar to make. So you want to start your day, I would, with the warm vitamin C drink. Now, Christine, quick question. Yeah. This might sound silly, um, but why distilled water? distilled water as a well you don't want to use distilled or purified water you just don't want to use tap unless you have something on your tap i mean some people don't have that you do your best once you boil the water it helps it but you want to use the the purest water possible and also guys bless your water if you've ever heard about this there's so many great things about water um, takes on your energy 
and it absorbs energy. So um, I'm starting to bless the water that when I drink the warm vitamin C drink, it's giving me energy, it's good for my skin, and it's good for my immune system. Okay, a couple other questions that came in. What size pot and how long do you cook that um, yeah. all together? Do you simmer okay. it or boil it? I, okay, well, to first answer the question, I get a, like a, a medium-sized pot. So this would be, to me, a medium-sized pot. Um, my other pot for the wellness soup, we'll get to that, is a huge, large pot. Get a medium-sized uh, medium pot, and you're going to fill the pot up to, with water so everything's covered. Not to the very top, but midway, so when it boils, it doesn't boil over and, you know, gets all over your kitchen. You're going to bring it to a boil, and then you're going to bring it to a simmer, and you're just going to let that simmer or on off with a lid throughout the day. And once it gets cold, you can, you know, heat it up. You can add a little more water to it, and it lasts two or three days. So I, I love that so much. Do you, do you measure out the water or do you no, just kind of it? I keep it simple. I keep it simple. I just make sure you have two to three lemons, two to three oranges. And then what you're going to do is make sure you you fill that so that way it's covered. So it's not covered at the top, but the lemons and the oranges are covered. So that way. And, you're and you cut them up. Yeah. So you're going to have at least 64 ounces of, of water. Just like you're drinking eight glasses of water a day. That's going to be about. 64 ounces of water in there, almost about two, two mason jars. And did you, you, we had a question about the magnesium. Um, yeah. You put, you said you put the magnesium right in the water. I do. I do. How do you, somebody asked about um, it's separating, separating it, like, how do you feel about separating the magnesium, like taking magnesium later and drinking? Yeah, 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 you can. Um, okay. I, I take magnesium once or twice a day. I take it uh, I have an Ayurvedic doctor that I have a cream that I put on, but um, if I take this in the morning and I know I'm going to have a really hectic day, which has been like every day, it just, it's an anti-stress drink. So I still have energy, but I don't have nervous energy. And if I take it a half hour before bed, I sleep really, really, really well. And I think it's like, an, it should be saying anti-aging. I worked for this company 20 some years ago in Los Angeles. That's how much I swear by it. I found out about it over 20 years ago. I loved it then and I, I love it now. And it's, um, I don't work for them now, but it's Nature's Calm. It works. Nature's Calm Magnesium. Yep. You can get it online or locally at Whole Foods. And the fruit had the peel on it, right? Yep. You just yep. want to make sure you wash your fruits and vegetables well. If you don't have a, a veggie solution, mm -hmm. I use um, peroxide. Just you can use a little peroxide, a little baking soda. Uh, white vinegar also is good just in case there's any residue or I don't want to use the word pesticides, but you just want to rinse them off as much as possible because you don't want to obviously drink that. Awesome. Thank you. Sure. You're welcome. So now that we had the warm um, vitamin C drink, you're either going to, if it's on a cleanse with me, you would start to drink the juices. If you're not on a cleanse with me, I'm going to keep it simple. You can have as many berries as you want up until 12 o'clock. So these, I just love. These are blackberries. To me, they're delicious. You can have strawberries, you can have blueberries. And here's another thing. I love this. If you are depressed, not that you are, but I read this in a book. Again, I used to live in California, so you can pick these from the trees in my backyard. It was, it's a, it's a great life back then. <laughs> but anyway, you can cut this in half, put cinnamon on it, stick it in the oven and broil it. It is supposed to be an anti-depression kind of breakfast. There's something with the grapefruit, the way the grapefruit smells, it's uplifting. It's also beautifying and it helps, it's diuretic as well. So if I'm cleansing, I love to have grapefruit in the morning. That's why all my cleanses, I will usually have people do a grapefruit juice or a watermelon juice in the morning because A, the watermelon juice is 90% water, so you're gonna urinate all the stuff that you know, you've been holding on to. And the grapefruit juice is very good for your lymphatic system. So for people that have cellulite, most of us do have it, but if you drink or eat a lot of grapefruit, it helps the lymphatic system, that helps that any of the fat deposits on your body. So I love in the summer, it's a good spring and summer, is grapefruit. Try, if you can, but with grapefruit, you shouldn't have that with medication so be very careful for whatever reason it just doesn't allow your body to absorb it with the medication so you don't want to take it with medication so christine i'm just i'm going back and forth with questions and sure. so i don't know if i missed it you said you put cinnamon you cut it in half you put cinnamon yep. on it, you put it in the oven 
Yeah. So I basically will take these beautiful um, grapefruits and then what I'll do, I got this in a book on how to be happy naturally and how to be beautiful like 20 years ago. And I'll just put cinnamon and then I just pop it in the oven. Like, you know, you put it on, whether it's a broiling pan or whatever, you pop it in the oven on broil for maybe about five, six minutes, like until it starts to get like really cooked. I'm telling you, it smells so good. It's so good for you. And uh, yeah, I, I, I love it. That sounds delicious. It's so, guys, it's so delicious. And when you have it, you just feel like happy, especially if the sun's out, you have your vitamin C, you go outside, you get your vitamin D. That's how we are going to up our immune systems, not by staying inside and, and wearing masks. I, I can't tell people what to do, but this is a really healthy alternative. So moving along, unless there's any questions. No, but somebody did just say that the beauty, Nancy said that the, it's definitely evident that the beauty part works for you. Well, uh, you get a free cleanse. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so very much. I, um, I, when I really, really dive into this and do this, I'm going to tell you why my skin looks good today is because cantaloupe juice. Okay. Um, I have a lot of clients that unfortunately have cancer and uh, cantaloupe juice is very high in vitamin C. It's one of the juices that I make for them. It is the one of the most delicious juices. I had one before my little hike in the woods today. I probably drank about, you know, like a, a half a grape, a half a cantaloupe. And um, it just, it really helps to thirst the skin. You know, a lot of us go for coffee in the morning and I, I usually don't do that. Um, I did cantaloupe and then I did a little bit of honeydew after the hike and you do this stuff like if you're going to have the juices like that the, the sh more sugary juices you ha or the fruits you have them up until 12 o'clock and you have them mostly on an empty stomach so they burn off quickly you don't want to have fruits uh, with food on a cleanse because you, the fruits you want them to come into the body come into the bloodstream and not have to digest with breakfast items. So you do them on an empty stomach. That's why in this cleanse, as much fruit as you want up until 12 o'clock, but no, I love bananas. I love avocado, but we don't want to do the starches on a cleanse because we really want, it's like cleaning our internal oven. You just want it to make sure the digestion is as easy as possible. So fresh fruits up until 12 o'clock. Again, those are your strawberries, your blueberries, if you want, if you want to make a smoothie, you can do strawberries, frozen strawberries with a touch of almond milk or a touch of a nut milk that does not have sugar in it. And again, you can also have honeydew. You want to do your honeydews, your cantaloupes, strawberries are coming in season. You want to look out for them. Uh, watermelon is so high. If you want to look young, you have to hydrate your skin. So you want to do watermelon and the, the grapefruit. How great would this be? Start your day after the warm vitamin C drink. You have your grapefruit and then you have a delicious cantaloupe juice or a watermelon juice. You're gonna feel so happy and so high in a good way. You'll be in a good mood. So those are some of my morning rituals. Um, what else is important on a cleanse, obviously, is letting go of the eternal stuff. So if you can, I don't say if you can, you, you want to do a couple of things. You wanna journal write. And the way I do it is you take a journal and you just write for three pages whatever is in your head. It can be anything. It could be to-do list. It can be anything. You just write what's ever in your head. That way you got it on paper. It's not going to be the dialogue that's going to be in your head throughout the day. Then I like to do some, some breath work where I meditate. I meditate for 20 minutes, but start out five to 10 where you just quiet your mind. There's plenty. Like if you go to Inkscape. Um, on Instagram. I actually go to that place in New York, but they have a lot of free content um, and they'll walk you through some, some beautiful meditations. It's amazing. But my favorite is the visualization. Visualize what you want. Visualize how you want your body to look like. I visualize my health and my strength all the time because um, I have to do it really for a living. So do a lot of visualization of how you want your body to look, how you want your body to feel, be connected one with you and nature. So that way on this cleanse, you're really cleansing like the soot, the dirt. It's like dirty thoughts. It's dirty thoughts too, like thoughts of what's going on. You want to get rid of them. So your morning ritual should be all of these beautiful things. 
And I, then, love, I love that, like, just write for three pages of my, it's almost like you're just, like, clearing the slate, right? Get are. it all out. You are, just like you would use the bathroom in the morning, and I hate to say that, but it's, we are humans. It's the same thing. You're, you're getting out stuff that's stuck in your head, in your mind. It can be anything. Just, just write it out, and whenever I've done that, it's a relief, and you also want to get your body moving you know, before the PM. So whether that's a nice yoga class, walking outside, but we have to get oxygen and air outside, whether it's our backyard, around the block, please make sure you do that in the vitamin D. It's gonna make your cleanse so much better. And- um, question that came yeah. in for the, for the morning before you move on to the afternoon. Yeah. Thoughts on grapes and mangoes as fruit options? Oh my gosh, yes. Well, there's a beauty, um, there's definitely a beauty cocktail with red grapes that I do uh, as a juice. I swear by uh, red grapes, especially going into this season. I don't do it a lot in um, the fall or winter, but coming to this now is red grapes are so good for your skin. I even do red grape, um, different facials, but I'll do a red grape with, if I do a red grape with watermelon juice and a red apple, it tastes like a Jolly Rancher. It's so good. Um, I, I love that. And mangoes are another, ha if you really want to be in a good mood, you want to partner these two up. You want to put your grapefruit and you're going to cut a nice mango. I know when you were in Peru, you had some great uh, mangoes. Mangoes also, because they say it's color therapy. So to, and this is documented. So if you look at this, once you cut up the mango, it's this beautiful yellow oranges, and then you have this beautiful pink grapefruit. Um, and if you have berries, you're eating the different beautiful colors. You know, people that are taking these vitamins, these are all dried of the fruit. You want to have the real fruit. And I'm a mango lover. So yes to mangoes, all by 12 o'clock though. Now, so when you juice the grapes, you just throw them right in, right in the juice. I've never juiced yeah. grapes. That's all. Awesome. I love, I, in this era, in this time, I, I love juicing grapes so much. And it's like a beauty cocktail. Like if you add like an adaptogenic, stand by one second. Um, like this is, just happens to be like a generic, an adaptogenic, but I have one for the brain um, when I really have to concentrate. So I will do a grape juice with a little bit of apple, squeeze a lemon, ginger, and, and I'll add an adaptogenic to it. And it just, um, I don't do it all the time, but definitely as a preventative, I, I love red grapes, me personally. No, question, a question that came in um, as far as, you know, I, I have a juicer. I know you have like awesome juicers. Can people do that, like blend, use a blender or what? And then another question that came in is what type of juicer would you recommend for like a regular person? My, my favorite juicer that I use has been the champion. And this is part of like what the champion looks like. I mean, I have it over here. Um, I like the champion. You can look it up. I have it on my website at champ at, at juice girl pharmacy, F A R M A C Y.com. Like I have videos where I'm actually working on the champion. I love the champion and I don't work for that company, but I like it because I have maybe six or seven of them. And I always tell people I run them like a Ferrari. I run them and run them and they don't break and I can make the juice and it can last for three days or so. I can also make banana whips, frozen fruit desserts. I've loved it because, and I also don't get cut on it, you know, and it's easy to clean. Most of it is dishwasher safe. That's my favorite, but the price point is, you know, almost $300. So that's a high price point for some people, but that's the one that I like. If you're looking for something lower, I don't want to say lower end, but looking for a starter model, you know, I don't, like I said, I don't work for any of these companies, but the Hamilton Beach has a wide mouth juicer that as long as you're drinking it then and there, um, it's a decent juicer at a $50 price point and it's easy to clean. It's just, there's two different kinds of juicers. There's a masticating juicer, which are the ones that are mostly like the cold press juicers. Um, and then there's a centrifugal juicer, which is going to oxidize quicker. So the juice will last 24 hours. However, they're meant to be drank right away. Jack LaLanne used, you know, one of those juicers when he started and he lived to be, you know, a, a big age, you know, as we got into juicing, then some people said those other juicers are not as good as the, you know, $2,500 juicers that you get on the Gerson technique that are cold pressed, but not everybody has the kitchen space. Not everybody's going to do it every day. So my, my most important thing is make sure you do your best to juice because 
it goes into your bloodstream differently than a smoothie and then eating the fruit. So if I eat the fruit, I have to digest it in my stomach and pancreas. If I drink the juice on an empty stomach, it goes into the bloodstream. So that's where you get the good skin because you're going into the, the bloodstream. So awesome. but, yeah. Oh, and, and we can definitely, people can reach out to you for more sure. and I'll share your info. Oh, absolutely. But for this, somebody just asked a question. For this, what you've been sharing so far, we don't even really need the juicer, right? No, I wanted to show everybody how they can do it at home because a juice cleanse is a big investment. Listen, I, it takes hours and hours and hours for me to make a cleanse for just one person. And there's a reason. You got to go buy the produce. You got to clean the produce properly. You got to figure out what you're you know, making and you have to clean the juicer constantly, constantly, constantly. So it takes a long time. I wanted to offer something to people that they can do in their own home. I started this program again, 20 some years ago when I was working in the stock market and I wanted to do a cleanse and I didn't have a juicer myself really either. And I couldn't just buy a juicer to keep it work. So I would do these because I was tired and I wanted to have good energy. So you don't need a juicer, but if you're talking about blending, like here's a Vitamix, which I love, and I'll get to what's in that Vitamix. You can use a, a Vitamix or something like that and put it on a very high variable, like the highest speed, you're gonna liquefy it. So it'll be like almost like a whole food juice. And if it's too much of a, too thick, you strain it. I, I strain everything. So you can strain it. It won't be just like the juice because the juice extracts the fruits and vegetables, it extracts all the fiber, well, it leaves the fiber and takes all the juice from it. And when you put in a, a blender, it's gonna blend it all together. And now people are gonna say, well, why wouldn't I wanna blend and have that all? And why would I wanna just extract the juice? I say do both. But if you want the best skin, the best energy, and you want the best vitamins, you want it liquid form so it goes into the bloodstream differently. But I do both. That's why on this, you can have some juices, but you can also have blended soups which I am a big fan for on a cleanse. Now, if you make something in the Vitamix, like a smoothie or something, how long does that last? Oh, it lasts as a couple of days. But again, you want it as fresh as possible. So you're going to make that, make it to serve. You don't want to make it to store unless you have to, like according to your job. But I like to make everything fresh, as fresh as possible. It doesn't oxidize. And you can have it right then and there. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. So if there's no questions, I'm going to go over to the PM, which is lunchtime. Now, by this point, I'm a, I'm a big drinker. So, and I don't mean alcohol, <laughs> but I'm a big drinker. And I, if I put them in mason jars, I seem to drink them much better than if I just take them in, in other glasses. So I have two things in mason jars. One thing is a delicious spa water which I love. And if I make a spa water, I will finish it. If I just have a regular water in here, I probably won't finish it. So one of the things I love to make starting in the PM is fill a mason jar up with water. And I have in this one, rosemary, I have lemons, and you can put, if you like essential oils, which I love, I use Young Living, you can put a few drops of either, if you want to lose weight, grapefruit, grapefruit essential oil, uh, lime is good is really good for anxiety. I love lemon and orange and you will Be so in love with it. You'll drink it all day long and your vitamin C is up Now and, and shameless plug if anyone needs young living Regina's on the on the call oh, perfect. <laughs> That is that is perfect. You want to reach out to her because lots, lots of lots of oily people too. Yeah, well, these are the good people the oily people are the good people We're at, we're the, I mean, they've been doing this for centuries. It, I could not do my job without essential oils. And that is the God's honest truth. I swear by it. Um, my next thing, and I add uh, essential oils to this too. So I do a cleansing tea. I use Sunrider products. Again, I don't work for them, but it's one of the best teas I've ever used. Uh, my other friend has a tea company. She is uh, Sacred Wings. I could always send that to anybody. She does her own teas, but you get the tea of your choice, whether it's a green tea, um, whatever tea you like. But I like teas that you can, this is her product, but the reason why I like it is because it's a loose tea. And then she's got rose hips, all things for women, like nettle for your hair, rose hips. She's got a great, great blend. And what I'll do is steep it and then I just basically will steep it and put it in a mason jar again with like oranges and rosemary 
and essential oils and uh, teas are so, they're very anti-cancer and antiviral. So I'm really, really big on the tea. So these okay, are- This is gonna sound silly. Yeah. Well, first, what was the name of the tea again? Oh, this tea is from Sacred Wings. Her name is Janelle. And you can find her right on um, Instagram or find her on my page. So it's sacredwings.com is her website. She's a god. She's one of us. She's a young living woman. She cured herself from cancer. She's a goddess. She looks 20 years younger than she is. She makes all these teas. She does sound baths. She does all the good stuff that a lot of us love. But these teas are something she's so good with. And when I'm at the juice bar, instead of going for a coffee mid-afternoon, I will always make myself a tea. And um, it just makes me feel fantastic. So I think a, a good tea to add to this cleanse is really, really good. And, and you then, said, when you say steep, you put it in like one of those. Yeah, what I do. <laughs> I do like one of these. Okay. You know, so I basically boil the water, put the tea in there, and then I'll just steep it. And then if I cool it, like this is obviously a cooled tea. If not, my hand would be on fire. So since it's springtime, we want things that are maybe a little bit cool. And I'll just cool it. And then I put it in a mason jar. You could put it with ice and then like oranges and lemon. It's so delicious. And if you're going to sweeten it, we're not going to use sugars or anything else like that. Um, I Not everybody likes it. I'm a stevia kind of person, but I'm a um, all natural stevia. But you can use the sweetener of your you know, that you'd like, but most, I tell people on a cleanse, try not to use anything but a tad of stevia. We don't want to use on this maple syrup or any kind of sugars, just on this for a one day cleanse. And the essential oils you said were, you can do lemon or lime. Yeah, I do. Well, when I do the teas, I would love, I love clove and I love orange. Those are the two, even though it seems like it's a fall thing, orange and clove together to me is so good. And Clove is antibacterial. It's really good for your teeth too. And the orange is very uplifting. So anything that makes me feel good, I do. And then um, type of orange, any specific type of orange you recommend? I, I would just do a regular uh, navel orange. I know that there's blood oranges and things like that, but I would keep it just a regular delicious navel orange. It's just, it's delicious. It really is. My God, my hand is hurting. I'm writing so much down. You're giving so much awesome tip. There's going to be a book soon. Not, I mean, not tomorrow, but I'm going to go. Book. You need a book. <laughs> I need a book. Get on it, producer. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to move on a little bit too. So now people are probably hungry and they want to have lunch. So what I did was I took a little bit of mushrooms and I sauteed them with a little bit of shallots. I got the mushrooms and the shallots at Cheyenne's Roadside Market here in Marlton. And what I did was I sauteed them in a pan and I put a little bit of broth with it. And then once it was cooked, I put it into the Vitamix and then I filled it up with more broth and I blended it and it comes out, well, this is gonna, it almost comes out like a puree. And it's, I'm all about the blend on a, oh, here I am. It's absolutely delicious. And I like to keep it blending. So I did a mushroom soup that you can do. There's a lot of other great things you can do. Like right now, we're coming, this was from Cheyenne's Roadside Market as well. Uh, asparagus is almost towards the end, if you can believe it, but you can have roasted asparagus, you can cut up some squash and saute it. You just want to be careful of the heavy oils and the butter. I love that stuff. Just on a cleanse, you want to be very careful. More with broths would be better. And you can also do uh, cucumbers with sea salt. These are all great things you can have in the afternoon. If you want to have a salad, uh, you think of a spinach salad with a little bit of apple cider vinegar, maybe roasted peppers, a little bit of lemon. You just want to keep it very, very natural and without a lot of heavy additives to that. So those are a couple of things that I, I love to do. If you get really hungry, you know, if you want to have a little miso broth in between, you can do that. Um, and then of course, if you're on a cleanse, you can have, so now this is where you go into more of the vegetable juices as opposed to 
the sugar, like the more fruit juices. This is where you go into the more cucumbers, the more greens, maybe a little green apple, like a green detox or something. That's why on my cleanses, on the PM or most of the green detox, the pink detox, the vegetable juices, as opposed to watermelon juice or any of the melons. So that is more in the afternoon. And this is where I like people to, you can take a ritual bath, whether you like to do a ritual bath before dinner or you like to do one before you go to bed. I'm really big on the detox of a ritual bath. So here's my little bath basket. And I like to do um, rose petals. Now you just have to make sure that the rose petals are washed because you don't know where you got the flowers from. But if you don't have rose petals, peppermint is fantastic to put into the bath. Again, I got this from um, Cheyenne's in Marlton. I love that. I also got a, a, a goat milk, but if you don't use that kind of, um, if you're vegan or vegetarian, you can also use nut milk in the bath. I mean, most people will say use a whole milk, but if you put a little almond milk in the bath, it's really good to soften your skin. And then of course I love Epsom salts, beauty salts. I like to put that in there. Um, I put like a, a, maybe two cups of Epsom salt. And if you can put a little bit of rosemary in there and I'm big on crystals as well. And Depending on what you like, on how you want your detox bath to be, a big lime kind of gal. So lime to me, let me see if I have it. Yeah, so lime, essential oil, Palo Santo, if you wanna, you know, I, I like that Palo Santo, I like, but lime is one of my favorites for uplifting. Of course, in the evening would be lavender and you guys are a bunch of oily sisters out there. So I'm sure you know, about oils. I'm also very big on rosemary and rose. So I put, you know, rose quartz, uh, rose essential oil in there. And that's where I will stay for at least 35 to 40 minutes. I start it really warm and then till it, you know, cools off. If you're the Wim Hof technique where everything is cold, he does these ice cold baths at the end of it, I will make it super cold and try and sit in there for three minutes. And that will just wake you up. It's really good for circulation. Most people don't like to do it, um, but it's really good if you do do it. Alex is a big proponent of cold, cold it, showers. He's always yeah, it, um, and your showers are cold. I, I did it and I was like, oh my God, this is so uncomfortable, but I've done a cold plunge too. And it does, it is good. Quick question. Well, one, one, two things. First, um, when we were in Peru, they, they did these like herbal baths outside. It was amazing. And amazing. lots of romer, rosemary. I remember just yes. like, like laying in the bath and, yes. and, and peeling the rosemary. And yes, that's, that's amazing. Look, I got it right here. I, I'm so, I need to be in Peru. I don't know why I'm living here. <laughs> and, um, the oils there I, I know we have some oil experts on here but we can't you it is safe to put them in the in the in the tub i do the okay. this is what you have to be careful with depending on how your skin is certain oils burn as we know you want to put oil of oregano in the bath you're going to burn you want to put certain like cinnamon sometimes peppermint so what i do is you want to put a carrier oil in there like maybe that's why the milk is going to help with that um, also almond oil is really good or a carrier oil of your choice. Um, and I don't put like 10, 15, it depends how many drops you're putting in. I put a few in, but yes, be very careful that you don't burn yourself. I'm so glad you brought that up because some okay. people have sensitive skin. Yeah. And then just going back to the, the Vitamix before you had the, vi the mushrooms and the shallots in yeah. there. You blend it all up. Do you heat that as like a soup or you eat it? Like yeah, it's because it was hot on the stove. And then I put in, um, I took that on the stove, put it into the Vitamix, and yes, I added some broth to it, but you cook it up and it actually will be warm. I did this before you know, we shot, so it's not warm right now, but it's delicious. And you can do that with broccoli. Like if you are a grain soup person, mm -hmm. you can saute broccoli, you can put a little bit of shallot in there. I'm big on not really using avocado on this, but my God, I love avocado. If you were to put a half avocado in that with the Vitamix and the broccoli and the broth, it comes out so delicious. Really, really, really good. And you can put the spices that you like in. If you're using salt, sea salt, pink Himalayan salt, but just don't use too, too much because we want to 
not retain the water. We want to let it flow out. Awesome. Yeah. Any other questions? Regina said, put the oils in the Epsom salt before putting in the tub. That's a good. That's, that's a great, yes. Yeah. Ooh, what is that steamy? This is the big pot of wellness soup. Let me see if I can get you in here. Oh, here I am. Okay. See that, ladies and gentlemen. So again, I um, went to the farm stand and um, I got some, some great things. I have cabbage in here. I have red cabbage in here. I also have the white cabbage. I have a half an onion. I have shallots. I have celery. I have a half a can of the Italian tomato paste I put in there. And then I got regular tomatoes I put in there and carrots. And I basically filled this up and I put in three have about 60, 32, maybe about, two to th about two and a half cups of this size, so the mason jars of water. And I brought it to a boil and then I'm simmering it. And then you put a little bit of thyme, a bay leaf on it. And think of like the cabbage soup diet back in the day. That's what this is. This is a wellness soup that you can have in the evening around six o'clock. And if you're cleansing more than one day, that could be your soup for the next day. It could also be a broth as well. I, um, I love that. That gives you the fiber and it fills you up as well. I've had that soup, Christine, from you. Yeah. It's delicious. It, it's so good. By the time, because you're cleansing, now you're a little bit hungry. Maybe you had your bath. You've had some exercise. You got some fresh air. And then when it's time to really sit down, you want to sit down and not, don't do what I do. I eat standing up sometimes, which is wrong. It's wrong, but we don't have time sometimes. But you want to make sure you put your soup in a bowl. I mean, I don't eat that standing up. You actually sit down, you take a moment. You yoga maybe meals. Soup. Yoga meals. We talk about yoga meals a lot in our yoga program. <laughs> yeah. It's a mindful eating practice. Like what you put in your body is... Um, it's... Um, it's so, so, so important. It is. It, it huh. really is. Um, mushrooms on a cleanse. Okay. I, I like my Ayurvedic doctor says, you know, mushrooms aren't the best thing, but I, there's certain things I believe in certain things I don't believe. I do believe mushrooms on this. Um, I, I love that mushroom soup. It's got so many good um, health benefits. I don't eat mushrooms all the time. I really don't. But on a cleanse, sometimes I will have the mushrooms because I want everything that's from the outside, from the ground. You know, some doctors say you can't have nightshades, but nightshades are in the moonlight. You know, those are your uh, eggplants and your beets and some carrots. And um, I love whatever grows from the sun to the moonlight. I don't eat nightshades all the, or tomatoes. I don't eat them all the time, but especially on a cleanse, I love everything that comes from the sun and the moon and the ground. So. What are your thoughts on edamame, on edamame beans? No, because um, of the soy. Okay. So as much as I used to love them, I would um, say no, no to them. On, at least on a cleanse. Oh, gotcha. Yep. And no to popcorn too, on a cleanse. Okay. Um, how, I try to, I'm not a good cook. I'm tr and I'm using this quarantine to really practice and, and learn. And I tried to make a soup the other day and it did not come out well. <laughs> so how long, like, do you leave it simmering for the cap, for like the vegetables, like the carrots and yeah. the cabbage to get soft? Okay. What I, what I do is I saute it before I just boil it. Okay. So I should have specified that. So I did put a tad for me, I did put a tad bit of avocado oil on the bottom and the rest would be a little bit of broth because I'd rather use more broth than oil on this. And then I saute the onions, the shallots, and I saute the cabbage, the carrots. That's kind of how, that's the Italian trick is that you saute it before you put the can of tomatoes, the tomato and the broth in there and bring it up to a boil. That way that it gets softer and they marinate really well. I also put a half an onion with, without it being peeled. I just cut it in half because the peel makes that broth taste so much better. And then what I do is I'll just go into the pot. 
you know, and take out the big onion. Like if the big onions now, it's all the way at the bottom, but I'll go in and just kind of use one of these and just take it out. And the broth just, it gives it a much, much more beautiful color and uh, makes it richer. And now these are soft because I've sauteed them. And you know what else you can do? A vegetable broth, just a regular veggie broth. You can broth. use a, a, ve a regular vegetable broth. And here's a trick. If you have a juicer, you can juice a half a cup of carrot and put the carrot juice in there. And that's super yeah. yummy too. It's a little trick I do. I love that. And what are your thoughts on, like, you know, I just got a Instapot and these things that like pressure cook things. Does that take away anything from the vitamins or in the, in the vegetables if you do it like that? Yeah, I, I don't use, I, the only thing I use is an air fryer and this. So I haven't really used the Instapot. I know it's, it's quick. Um, I can't answer that question. I, I use the crock pot and, and that, so I haven't, but it depends how long you're cooking it. Like I'm told from one of the doctors I go to is that it's best to cook the vegetables um, because it's hard to digest with things being so raw, but it, you want to make sure you're right. You're not cooking out all the nutrients. How long are the, how long are you cooking it for in the uh, Instapot? Well, clearly I did it wrong the other day. <laughs> <laughs> in the edible. <laughs> we'll, like, we'll, we'll try I'm, it saying, I'm just, you know, lots of questions. Um, so, um, we, I'll, uh, I'll reach out to you separately and get all your, Oh, there is a lot of chatter up there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for you, Lisa. It would have been very hard for me to answer everybody back. Yeah, no, it's good. Um, everyone's so appreciative. So oh, I, what, are, what are your final tips after the veggie soup? Well, after the veggie soup, that's where I like to go back and, and do a journal writing again of just a forgiveness. You know, sometimes we hold on to people we're mad at, we're mad at whomever it is. It's like a forgiveness of just a letting go. I love at the evening to just let go and make peace of whatever you are holding on to. I like to let that go. So that's one of the things I like to do. I like to go out in the moonlight. If, um, if you can, just kind of breathe in the oxygen. And then if you want to make a little dessert drink, what I like, is you get a little bit of nut milk. And this happens to be, what is this blue? It's a blue green algae. So it's like a nut blue milk that I can just blend up with a hand blender. Um, you can also use cacao. If you are into cacao, you get a little cacao and you get a little nut milk, little, little bit of nut milk. And you would actually put this on the stove. This does not have to go on the stove. You can kind of just blend that together. I am also big on pearl powder for the skin. You can add a little bit of pearl powder. I think I have sun potion that I use. And a nice nut milk, like if you go to bed later, um, say you go to bed at midnight and now it's like eight o'clock and you'd like to have a little nut milk. These are one of the threes that I love is pearl powder, uh, cacao, which I love and a blue green algae. They're all really good in, in different ways, but the, the pearl powder I'm, I'm really getting into for the skin. Um, the cacao is a great heart opener. So if you're somebody that's really trying to open up your heart chakra during this cleanse, um, cacao is really good. And my other suggestion is just really fall in love with yourself and treat yourself really well on this one, two or three day cleanse, however long you go. Cause a lot of times we don't, we love other people and then we don't have time to love ourselves. We deplete ourselves. So this is a time for you. That's what I tell people. It's your, it's your cleanse. Christine, uh, first of all, like guys, how amazing is she? The fact that you just said to like at the end forgiveness, right? This is not just what I love about you is that it's not, this is not just like, okay, drink this. It's like, this is all, you know, we are, we are multifaceted human beings and we're not only dealing with, you know, our, our nutrition, but our emotions, which they both, you know, Spring mentioned before, like they, it's just interactive. Like they all come together and what you're feeling affects and, and what you're feeling affects your gut. And it's just, everything is connected. It's and so true. all of these things that you're sharing, I mean, it's just, it's so beautiful. It's Thank so you. I, trust me. It, it took a, you know, I've been doing this since I was 17, 18 years old. So, you know, I've been doing it for a long time, but it was my own journey of sometimes not feeling, you know, if I didn't, if I felt amazing, I probably wouldn't have 
became the juice girl and learned all these kinds of things. I've been always learning how to look good, how to feel good, how to have good health. And I've never felt better than when I do these kinds of things. And especially in the evening, when we're talking about forgiveness, if you you hold on to that. If you're mad at somebody, you're angry, you take that into your dreams, you take that into your sleep, you wake up with that. You um, just make peace and let it, let it go. Your heart will expand. I love that. Yeah. How can people find you, Christine, if they have more questions? I'll be in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Last <laughs> run. <laughs> Um, you will find me in the woods. No, um, you can find me on Instagram at, at juice girl SJ. You can find me on Facebook as either Christine Patton or my juice girl page, which is S J juice girl. If you go to my website, everything is there, which would be juice girl pharmacy, F A R M A C Y.com. As of now, I'm at uh, my juice bar in stone Harbor, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You know, we're, I'm open on weekends, Saturday and Sunday. So I'm there on the weekends and I come, I'm back and forth right now. So if you reach out to me, I will do my best to, you know, reach out back to you. It's, it's a partnership. You know, I get just as much from you as maybe you get from me. It's, you know, it's how we all need each other. It's the truth. Well, I'm so grateful for you. I will Aww. make sure that we share all your information in the community Thank group. You. I'm so grateful for you, Lisa, my producer. I love it. <laughs> So guys, if I'm going to, we recorded it, so I'll make sure that I share it. And if you want to send it to anyone who you feel could use it. Um, yes. I'm just so grateful for you. Christine. Oh, thank you guys so much. I know that you will benefit from doing this. You will feel amazing. We all deserve to feel great and take care of ourselves and love ourselves. So thank you guys so much. Thank you, Lisa, my producer for for hosting me at 30 Rock in Marlton, New Jersey. Feel free to unmute your line and uh, I could probably unmute everybody. I got, I, got a, I got a heart out there. There you go. And say if you want to, you know, share anything with Christine. Oh, hey, Joy. So hey. awesome, Christine. Thank you for hey. that knowledge. That was beautiful. Aw. It was awesome. so on point. You just reinforced everything I already knew and taught me so many new things. So I'm so excited. <laughs> We're in this together. Thank yes. you so yes. much. All right, guys. Yeah, Lisa, Lisa, night. thank you for doing this so much. I've been so like stranded and feeling lonely and yoga. Nancy, I didn't realize you weren't in you weren't in the group. We meditate every morning. We've got. No, I'm gonna start talk. again. I mean, I just you know to Alex begin again, but it's just been. Right. I'm not gonna lie. This is like fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it is. Put it out. It is. You know. So yeah. thank you for the journaling um, ideas too. I I. <laughs> I know what to do. Sometimes I'm just stubborn. Yeah. yeah. Love you, Nancy. So thank you. You guys, this was awesome. Thank you. Bye, guys. Have a great night. Thank you Bye, guys so much for letting me come and share. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.